add some fresh spring zing to your home decor with this simple and elegant chalk couture project. The rustic home wreath transfer pairs perfectly with the 16 inch rustic round surface. This is so cute and can last all year long. To begin, I'm using my transfer trimmers and cutting along the provided cut lines. There are so many adorable floral elements in this design, feel free to customize it however you like. Next, I'm removing the wreath element from its transfer backer sheet. This mesh silk screen is reusable 8 to 12 times for all sorts of chalking projects. Now I'm sticking the circular element onto my fuzzing cloth. This is a microfiber cloth that helps to work gentle the adhesive by adding a little bit of lint to the sticky side of the transfer. You may need to do this a few times if you've chosen a glass or another less porous surface. I'm centering the wreath on my 16 inch rustic round, making sure to smooth it out so that there are no bubbles or wrinkles. Now let's add some color. I'm using our Chalkology paste in bright white, bumblebee, eucalyptus, and shimmer melon. First, using my handy dandy small squeegee, I'll scoop up some bright white paste and spread it all over the mesh sections of my silk screen. I'm only using a little bit of paste and scraping off any excess so that I have a nice smooth application. I'm going to slowly pull the wreath element from my surface and set it aside to wash later. The paste needs to be dry, so I'm using a quick dry tool to dry my paste before moving on to the next steps. Now I'll prep the larger greenery and curved floral elements by fuzzing them and then placing them onto my surface along the white lines of the wreath. I'll use my mini squeegee and chalk eucalyptus over the greenery and sunny side over the floral details. I'm drying my paste once again before continuing to build my florals. Now I'll chalk the large flower element onto the bottom of my wreath with shimmer melon. To help fill out my arrangement, I'll use the smaller greenery element and chalk it in eucalyptus. I'll add another large flower element in shimmer melon and use the quick dry tool to dry the paste. Next, I'll add several small flower details in bright white. You can recreate this look following my steps and placement or create your own floral arrangement with any of the transfer elements. Once all of my paste is dry on the surface, the final touch is to add this adorable bow using a hot glue gun. Now I have a new charming sign for my front door. We like to keep things simple so the cleanup is a piece of cake. This is what we call a water bath. You can also wash your transfer in a sink or under running water. I'm simply wetting the transfer and wiping it clean. Our board eraser not only wipes off reusable surfaces, but makes quick work of cleaning up transfers and tools. Be sure to clean both sides of the transfer. Once clean, you can lay it flat to air dry with the sticky side up, or you can use a fuzzing cloth to dry it off. Here I'm using the fuzzing cloth and a paper towel to wipe off all of the water. I'm making sure to wipe off both the front and the adhesive side of the transfer. Repeat these steps for the smaller transfer details. Once it's completely dry, I'll reapply all the transfer elements to their coordinating backers. Here's a pro tip. When reapplying the backer, lay the transfer down on a flat surface with the sticky side up and apply the glossy side of the backer to the adhesive. With proper care, these transfers can be used again and again. From start to finish, these projects really are as easy as this. Create your own DIY zing with Chalk Couture. Happy chalking. <laughs>